Hey, you're probably wondering how good Pikachu could possibly be, it doesn't seem to have a lot of things in its favor. Coincidentally, its base stats are a mere 320, being one of the weakest second evolutions. And neither its attack or special attack are really impressing. I'm not really looking forward to this run. On the other hand Pikachu's move pool is actually pretty good, getting moves like Mega Kick, Slam, and Substitute, also learning its best stab move at only 26 being Thunderbolt. It also learns coverage moves like Brick Break, Dig and Iron Tail. First off, its starting move pool isn't that bad, already having Thunder Shock, and learning Quick Attack not far ahead. But as you know the first gym leader is Brock and being a rock and ground gym, these moves aren't really going to cut it. My first attempt, was after a bit of grinding to level 15, but as you could infer it didn't go as planned, losing almost immediately. After a bit more grinding, Pikachu reached level 20 and learned Slam, with this renewed courage I decided to try to battle Brock once again. Surprisingly, on the fifth attempt I got a perfect battle. It started off with Pikachu using four double teams and Geodude alternating between Tackle and Defense Curl, after that, I just kept using Slam and Quick Attack and hoping that I wouldn't lose a lot of health. Thankfully, Geodude went down and Pikachu still had a measurable amount of health. To be honest Onyx was just a matter of luck, whether it would hit rock tombs or not. And with only 15 health points remaining, Onyx went down. This is a good time to mention that I am probably not going to use double team for the remaining part of the run since it is a luck-based strategy and I'd rather stick to a consistent strategy. The next part was a breeze, Pikachu speedrunning through the next route and Mount Moon. On getting to Cerulean City I decided to get to Bill and then battle Misty, but before that, I had to battle Gary. I honestly wasn't really worried about him. The battle started with Pikachu using Thunder Shock and almost KOing Pidgeotto and it's striking back with an unwanted sand attack. After finishing off Pidgeotto, I KO Rattata with Mega Kick and almost do the same to Charmander, but it survives with a slither of health. I end the battle by finishing off Charmander and fainting Abra with a few Thunder Shocks. Halfway through the route to Bill, Pikachu strikes level 26 and learns Thunderbolt. After all of that, I decide to go and battle Misty, and of course her being the water gym, the battle went as expected. Pikachu started off by KOing Staryu and immediately ended the battle by KOing Starmie. I don't know what you were expecting but that was certainly what I was expecting. Next. To the SSN, again to be honest I wasn't really thinking that it would be hard. And I also want to mention that if you're doing one of these type of runs that you also make sure to check the bins in the SSN since they can hold valuable items like hyper potions. Another Gary battle. This one wasn't any different from the other one, Pikachu KOing most of his Pokemon, and Pikachu hitting level 31. I anticipated LT Surge not to be a massive problem despite him resisting my strongest attack because of Pikachu still knowing the move Mega Kick. The battle started off by Pikachu 1 hit KOing Voltorb and Pikachu, but Raichu surviving on a slither of HP. After that, Surge heals his Raichu and I decide to use Mega Kick again, but of course, Raichu survives again with a bit of health. Since Mega Kick's power points had run out, I had to switch to Slam. After a few misses with Slam because of double team I finally faint Raichu with only 4 health points remaining. What a close battle.
After that I went straight to the next route, and to my surprise no problems again. I'm starting to think that this will be a hassle-free run after all. In the rock tunnel I wasn't really bothered about anything except the hiker at the end. This also would be a good time to mention that I taught Pikachu the TM Brick Break, and this turned out to be a smart move after all because, Brick Break was the only reason I actually beat that hiker. Upon getting to Celadon City, I headed straight to the game corner to finish the rocket hideout quickly. And as expected Pikachu again whizzed through that all the way to the Giovanni battle. After healing up, I started the battle and a few brick breaks later and I had defeated Giovanni. After all of that I decided that Erica was probably going to be a tough battle so I should buy some proteins and HP ups, so that's what I did. After applying them I headed straight to the gym, since I knew that Erica's first Pokemon Victory Bell, would most likely try and paralyze Pikachu with Stun Spore, I decided to let Pikachu hold a Sherry Berry. When I actually started the battle, it turned out I didn't need the Sherry Berry after all, because Pikachu just fainted Victory Bell with a critical slam. Next was Tangler, and also after a few slams and it was also down. Only one more to go, Vile Plume hit a stun spore after being hit with slam, so we can all agree that the Sherry Berry was useful. Then after a few slams, the Vile Plume was finally down, but I've got to say, Erica really didn't want to lose because she kept healing Vile Plume. This is the end of part 1. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this video because these type of videos take a long time to make. Thanks, part 2 coming soon.